So what we want to do here, right, is we're going to install brute force. Uh, the old, I've, I've copied it, I've, I've used the same one that I had on my old video, but now I'm on a new laptop with a uh, Windows 11 instead of 8. It's not, so what I used to be able to do, I've just extracted it, I'll, I'll probably give you a link to WinRAR as well, or WinZip or whatever, in the con uh, in the description I guess so once you've extracted it you'll get this Ugh, that's the folder I just made ignore that you'll get this that's the one to reformat your USB and, P and uh, FAT32 format I don't have mine plugged in at the moment because I'm using all my USB slots but yeah you select your drive here your USB drive and then just go start that's all you have to do and most USB drives are pretty small um, but make sure there's obviously nothing on there that you want so because the PlayStation anyway will only recognize FAT32 format which a lot of Windows will not format into FAT32 so you kind of have to use that program or something to actually make it work and that's very easy to use it's only small I, I have it on pretty much every hard drive just in case I ever lose it so anyways you've got a USB and inside that USB let's say this is your USB USB drive or D drive in my case when you open it up that's your root folder right inside there you're going to want PS3 and save data, data. <clears throat> anyhow if you just reformat it and stick it in your PlayStation and copy your save across it will automatically make those folders you don't even need to do that but if you're moving things onto your PS3 you're going to need that folder format in your drive already so that's the USB drive, you, you don't need that anymore. I showed you that because you're going to need a save game off of your PS3, which I'll just quickly switch over and show you how that works, just in case you've never played with your save games before. So you just uh, click on a save game, and you press triangle and copy. And then select whatever drive you, you know, that's my flash drive. USB and there we go once you've got that on your USB you're going to need that to set up Bruce Force um, once you've got it set up it's going to come up with a little window to uh, ask you basically to donate a save game right so that's what we're going to use them for um, I'll probably just use one that's already on my computer so I don't have to unplug my capture device and stuff like that because I've only got three three USB slots anyhow so what we want to do is install this brute force here right now you used to be able to if you're on Windows 8 on my old laptop I just double click that that's why I gave you this file was because it just installed itself I didn't have to do anything now I have to also extract this and then go in there and extract the other one as well uh, that one there I'm pretty sure I have to extract it that's what I did before testing it out and it worked fine so we're gonna want oh I just double clicked oh yeah that's what I thought was happening and you know what I'm just gonna drag him out there and we're gonna stick both of them in the root folder once brute force is set up right so we'll just double click the installer you can run it as administrator if you want either way it's going to ask you I'm pretty sure yeah here we go see um, yeah next I agree that's just where it's going to install to normally they just go into now I do want a shortcut if you don't want a shortcut on your desktop or whatever click that um, but I'm going to untick it because I, I do want the shortcut and install
and as you see there's my thumbnail just popped up on my icon I can't remember what you call them anymore shortcut shortcut that's the one so now that's installed right it's not going to want to work properly it's going to probably be missing DLL hey wait a sec oh no because I already extracted them it looks like it actually worked fine so we'll right click it and go open as administrator it opened itself well there you go there you go that's all you needed to do all you needed to do was just extract that and it will install itself beautiful right beautiful um, if that doesn't work right grab these two files that you extracted here that's where it's asking for your save game right but what we'll do first is so if that doesn't work instantly on its own like that just right click here on the shortcut if you ever click on it's not going to let me use it because I've still got that open yeah, it looks like it alright so we'll do that anyways close do I want to configure it now yes now I'm just going to find some other random save game off of my machine I'll find one um, so yeah here we go it's asking for a parameter SFO I've got a bunch of them in here uh, oh look there you go that's one from that machine that's off my jailbreak and we'll use that we'll donate that to it and That's just for custom firmware. You don't. You can type whatever you want in there. It doesn't really matter. But now it's got a profile. Now you can use it. Uh, you can set up profiles and so forth. But anyway, that's installed. That's ready to go. That's all we really needed to do. But as I said, I wanted to show you. What? Oh, it's going to open another copy of Brute Force, isn't it? Another application. That's strange maybe that's why it was thinking before so anyways if it doesn't install itself like that nice and easy just right click open file location I'm just checking if they're in here I don't see them in here oh wow it's working fine without them but let's say it, can't, it, it might come up anyways telling you that it's missing DLL files that's what these are and all you would do is just drop them in there doesn't look like I'm going to need to it for some reason installed itself that time that's the fourth time in the last few weeks I've installed the program making tutorials and stuff and that just worked fine it doesn't even have those DLLs in there I'm guessing it's reading them from here I don't know how that works but yeah so just extract the MS yeah. Extract that and then go in there and extract this as well. And yeah, they're the two files you're going to need to drop in here if it doesn't install itself. That just installed itself first time. So there you go. So we've donated a save game to it, it's all set up. Now you'll be able to, you know, open saves in it, re sign them do what you need to do so that's the setup we're going to move on uh, do another another tutorial on how to re-sign your save games how to change the region and how to check control the order that your save uh, save directory is in so if you go to download a save or you know get it off a friend's machine or you've got an old machine that's dying and you've and you got a new one and you want to put it on there um, and yeah there's multiple reasons you might want to re-sign or change the uh, save directory so they'll be in the other videos that's your installation all done nice and easy both ways will work that time we got lucky for some weird reason it just it did it I think it's because I had already extracted the other folder so thank you I hope that helps